Hello, 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 and welcome to another what seems to be a almost daily <laughs> uh, Macintosh recapping live stream. So uh, let me just put the camera a little back because my chair keeps heading into it. There, that's much better. And let's adjust some of our windows here so I can see exactly what's going on. Cool, okay. So let's introduce what we're doing today. So Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome to Mac84. We're going to do a, a live stream of uh, a recapping of a Macintosh and, and probably more of a exploratory repair type thing. Um, I hope you could hear me. Let me know if the audio and the video look good. Um, just leave a comment if uh, it looks good or if it isn't. Uh, if, hey, Jay. Welcome to the party. And um, yeah, so I don't think I will be um, going into an eight hour live stream here especially since uh, MacAc is upcoming in about uh, an hour and a half. And, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> but we'll have some fun until then. And we'll wait for a few more people to jump in the, the uh, views here, see what's going on up in the channel. Looks like Jay's our only friend hanging out here first. <laughs> uh, I noticed my camera is slightly tilted today, but maybe I'm the only one who could see that, so... That's okay. So, let's get situated here because there's a lot of crap on my desk, as always. When, when is there not crap on my desk? I got the recap bug. Well, actually, this 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 is one of the first machines I tried to recap. And so back in 2017, um, thank you very much. And uh, that's right, I should put the link on Discord as well. Let me do that. We'll wait while a few other people come in here. Let me do that. Okay, so, um, yeah, so a, a few years ago, I started to learn about these Macintosh computers and that you have to replace the capacitors inside of them, otherwise they will disintegrate away and become useless. And so I didn't really have the skills or the knowledge to do that, but... Uh, I did some soldering in my day, and I thought, oh, well, how hard could it be? Well, I didn't really have all of the knowledge necessary, and thankfully I didn't break anything, but um, I don't think I successfully fixed anything either. So one of my first videos on my Mac 84 channel uh, is a Macintosh 2 CX uh, that I tried to repair, and um, I wasn't fully successful with that, so uh, ever since then I've been trying to see when the time is right and unfortunately these Macintosh machines are are ticking away and so there's a lot of urgency to this so yeah it's been fun uh, let me just paste this link in here and then I'll start I'll stop stalling for time there we go okie dokie Yes, uh, I would probably recommend you don't check out that video because it's quite embarrassing. Um, but whatever, you're into it anyway. Um, so anyway, yes, so uh, today we have another Macintosh that I'm going to recap. This is one that I actually um, had attempted to recap. And since it was not fully successful, I, I didn't even show it on a video or anything. So uh, this is a Macintosh Quadra 840AV. The fastest 68K Macintosh out there. Uh, I have already removed the heat sink. Uh, I have already removed... Excuse me. have already removed the... Um, what else did I remove? Some of the memory here I've removed. And um, this board uh, has been thoroughly cleaned with distilled water. Or maybe, hopefully it wasn't regular water. But there's, some, there's a little streakiness going on. But it's not too bad. Uh, however, you could notice that, uh, you know, these... I think they're the, the radio caps or whatever. Um, yeah, no worries, Jay. Come back when you want. Um, and so I, I ended up recapping this with what I had. And I think there's one capacitor. Hopefully it's not this board. I think I'm misremembering. And if it is, I hope that is. That uh, one of the um, traces was bad. So I think that was on the Macintosh 2. But anyway, the problem with this board is it simply um, doesn't work. Like, the, if you turn it on, you hear, like, a little squeak from the power, like it's trying to do something. 
Um, I'm not going to plug it in because I don't want to risk anything. Uh, looking Now that I have a little microscope, even though it's not the best, I think I could take a better look at these traces too. So the first thing that I need to do is remove all of these capacitors that I put on here a few years ago. Uh, <laughs> I hate dysfunctional wombat. No, you haven't been cursed. I have uh, with all these computers. And so um, I bet that solder on there is pretty bad. I, it looks like some of these traces, there's some, this, there's, there's a trace here. Uh, let me see if I get here. We're starting with the microscope already. I'm not even into it yet. Um, there's a trace already here. And when Bruce arrives, uh, he might be able to give us some more insight to this. Um, and I'm not, this is probably going to be a multi-part thing. I'm not going to, you know, just rush it or anything. I just wanted to start taking a look at this machine. Um, but it looks like, let's see, are we upside down again? Are we upside down? We, no, we are not upside down. I just need to look over here. There we go. Look at that. Oh, geez, you're having bad luck to dysfunctional wombat. So, that doesn't look like it's the best. Um, yeah, so, and th that sort of is, is throughout this board here. We see these little marks. I'm assuming that's corrosion. Um, we'll, we'll see. You know, I have, to, I have to do some cleaning of this board, obviously. Uh, might be moisture, might be... I have no idea, honestly, what it is. I'm just guessing at this point. But, uh, yeah, so this board has seen better days. Um, these solder jobs by these capacitors... Um, oh, that looks pretty bad, to be honest. What the hell was I doing? Uh, there's a trace going right under there. Yeah. Um, the only other thing on this board that I forgot about until I took it out of its case was one of these little, little capacitors fell off the bottom and uh, I used a, a very crude method of bridging it because it, my soldering iron was too small I think to properly make a connection and that is ugly as sin and I will be trying my best to ensure that that's not destroyed uh, now these little dots are green you may think oh my goodness it's corroded um I don't believe that's the case because every single one is green. I think that's just the way the board is. The board is a, a brown board with these little green accents. Um, the traces are actually beautiful looking on this board. I mean, you know, they're probably need some help here. Um, but uh, they are pretty to look at because there's, there's a lot of lines here. Um, you know, I'm seeing I'm seeing little things here and there. You know, this is more of the exploratory phase of this, but uh, I'm seeing not that there there's corrosion, but look just like gunk, and that might be from the desilt water or whatever that was used uh, at one point in time. So there there is some uh, some cleaning that we have to do on this board before we do anything. Um, just trying to see if I see any other problematic areas. So I don't see too, too many on this side at least. Um, that's not the side where the capacitors are. On this side, there's a lot of like gunk and dust I could see. So that is a little concerning. I see some exposed copper on one trace by a capacitor. Um, this looks like a pretty nasty one here too. So I'm going to start removing these capacitors. Um, I'm a little hesitant to use hot air, but you, I'm, I'm actually less hesitant because I, I actually did um, do these before. Um, so the solder isn't old, it's pretty fresh. And uh, some areas I will not use it on. I will go in because this is this board has a lot of compact things on it. So if you if you see if I adjust this uh, secondary camera here, you can see that there's a lot of densely populated components on the board. 
So there's not too much room. Uh, let's go to a populated spot there. There's not too much room uh, where I can contain the heat successfully here. So um, some of the outlier things I will put uh, heat on and will be okay. Uh, but some of the others I'm going to be careful with. And I'll just use the the, the uh, iron on. So, um, yeah, let's get the camera a little bit closer. And the tripod leg uh, seems to be stuck in the extended position. Whatever. Um, <laughs> all right, so we're going to be focusing on our lovely board here. Uh, I am actually going to make some adjustments here, move everything I have here, because that's the whole purpose of this board I have on my desk, is to protect things from heat, including the microphone. Sorry about that. Not that uh, I'm too worried, but you never know. Alright, so let's get some of our tools here. And then we could push this towards us, we'll put our tools back. Okay. Throw that out. Our trash bin here. Okay. All right, hope everyone's doing good tonight. Uh, this stream will not last more than an hour and 10 minutes because uh, I will be on the Mac Yak podcast. And I do not want to keep my friends waiting there. Um, yeah, so, okay, first things first, we get the heat gun here, um, and at least turn this system on, let me move these cables out of the way, as I was testing some Macintoshes of the stream I did, uh, let's soak up this little sponge here for the soldering iron, just in case. Hope everyone's doing good tonight. And let's just rearrange some things on the other side of the desk that you can't see, just so I have some room here. Things are not as crowded as they are now. Okay, all right. So, um, I am actually, I'm really curious if I should do the soldering iron or the or the the um, heat gun to get rid of these caps because. I'm very, I'm conflicted to be honest because um, uh, on one one to one side, the heat gun should remove it successfully. But yeah, I, yeah, I'm gonna start the heat gun because I'm worried that the capacitors here are um, uh, the capacitors here. If I try and do it manually, the the legs may mess up or something like that. So don't want to hurt anything, obviously. Um, actually, I have to find my tweezers. I'll, I'm just going to use this pair of pliers for now. Um, so let's get this adjusted. I'm just going to try. Let's see. I'm going to try this one here real quick. Oh, you know what? Duh. First rookie mistake. Get my stuff ready here. There is my little my little tweezers. They're cheap and crummy, but you know what? They'll work for now. Let me just put some flux here to encourage this capacitor to remove itself. And this will be our first test one here. It'll be very gentle. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think the flux certainly helped on that. Uh, I do see that cap was right next to some nasty things, so Hopefully that uh, was not causing any issues. Well, it probably is, but uh, hopefully we didn't have additional issues caused to it by our recapping, quote-unquote, work <laughs> that was done previously. Uh, I'm glad I did not uh, continue with this at the time. Uh, I was telling uh, another streamer recently that um, it never hurts to stop reassess the situation, and then return back when you have more knowledge or better tools. Uh, that is some advice that was always passed down to me. Don't force it. Don't rush. And whenever I ignore that advice, I wish I hadn't. So, 
not to get all sage like on you though but <laughs> just sharing some some tidbits while I flux up some of these capacitors here okay so uh, let's try uh, this capacity here again I can't get too close while I'm using the heat gun because I'll probably melt the microscope I hear a little popping. It's probably not a great sign, but okay. Oh, that that capacitor got a little puffy. These may be problematic. Let's try another one. No. Yeah, these I may have to use the the soldering iron on. Oh. Right, that one came off. Okay. Hey, Bruce. All right. Since the master is here. I'm going to stop what I'm doing real quick. <laughs> How you doing, Bruce? Um, I want to show Bruce some of the things I've been noticing on this board. So let's wait for our heat gun to calm down a little bit. And so we have a Quadra 840 AV board here. I forgot to tell you how I got this. I think it was 2004, 2005. I picked up this computer for five American dollars. That's right. That's how undesirable these machines were. Five dollars. It did work at the time. Fully worked. I used to have it plugged into my TV. The TV was the monitor. And uh, I love this machine. I had not used it in years. And about two years ago I went to re uh, turn it on and I discovered it did not work anymore. That's around the time that I tried to recap this with these capacitors here. And now I'm regretting that decision but uh, we're going to move on from here and try and be successful. So. Um, what I have here, and let's turn on the little microscope camera. So, what I have here um, are these capacitors that I had previously. Let's back up a little bit. These capacitors that I previously put on the board. Now, I've seen other people replace their boards with these capacitors and they've been successful however I have a feeling that this board may have some trace issues and uh, maybe more than the capacitors on this one however we're gonna take it slow this is gonna be probably a multi-part stream again I only have about an hour until the Mac Yak podcast so I'm gonna take things slow here uh, one of the areas I want to show you Bruce where I think there's some corrosion here especially because the, the capacitor is so close to it uh, I just removed a capacitor from this area that I had previously put there so Everything looks disgusting and dirty and needs to be cleaned. But right here, this uh, is what the, it looked like before I started. I'm assuming those little black dots are not friendly. And I'm assuming those little black dots may be some capacitor juice that had maybe previously leaked in this area. Um, this goes to this little, I'm guessing this is a fuse here. Uh, and then this goes directly to the power socket. So, I'm going to guess this is pretty important. Actually, there's there's some uh, a little crud under there, too. I'm, maybe that's something that's eaten away at that as well. Um, I will pause for some advice from the sages here. <laughs> um, type away, Bruce, but you, you don't be forced to rush. We're, we're, t we're doing a leisurely stream here. <laughs> I, I have very fond memories of my 840AV, too. Um, I had it plugged into a TV and it was a lot of fun. Uh, okay. That's good to know, Bruce. Thank you. So, um, yeah, the, the trouble is I did, I did, um, have a little cap on the back of the board here. Now this is embarrassing. Uh, Bruce is going to, you know, face palm here. Uh, this is before I knew him. This is before I knew what the heck I was doing. And one of these little capacitors here, um, let me focus here, had fallen off of the board. Oh, too much. Oh, come on. 
Uh, this little this little camera is not not too uh, it's not the best here, but we're gonna we're gonna make do with what we got. Ah, come on, maybe the light's too intense. Let me back off on the light here. Yeah, that's a little better. So one of these capacitors decided to remove itself. Um, now the lighting is way too bad. Oh, jeez. Yeah, my apologies. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's trying to like compensate for whatever. It's it's a dark colored board, so I don't think it's going to help that much. Anyway, it tried to um, it, it one of these capacitors fell off, and uh, my patch job of sorts with terrible tools was to patch a little wire here, and I, I can't really get a good shot at this. Um, yeah, so we'll be dealing with that. Uh, that's going to be its own thing. But um, I was using the heat gun. I got uh, three of the capacitors off, Bruce. Uh, I'm a little concerned about uh, continuing with this um, with the heat gun in some of these areas, because the board is so compact and by, by what I mean is let's turn the microscope off here uh, the components on the board are in a very compact uh, fashion here and so we have the capacitors right up against the power socket uh, and so on and so forth um, yeah so I'm gonna try and use the heat gun where I'm comfortable and uh, we're gonna go very slowly I'm, I'm gonna put some flux by the capacitors to try and maybe loosen them a bit. Again, this solder is only a year or two old, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we have to go slow and gentle on some of these. So uh, again, I'm gonna be turning on the heat gun here and uh, we're gonna try to gently encourage these capacitors to be removed uh, from the board here. Whoa, that capacitor ejected itself. Okay. Uh, I will use that as a heat shield. Uh, thankfully, I don't think... Uh, I was looking at the plastic connector wrong. The metal is on this side, so I should be okay. Yes, I will use that, Bruce. Thank you. Um, I will use that especially right here on this side of the board. Uh, but I think over here there's at least half an inch between this and this capacitor. Especially if I'm blowing from this direction, I should be able to avoid, let's hope, um, getting that too warm. Okay. All right, so just taking a look here. Let's get one of those those pink Q-tips that Jay loves. And let's just uh, refill my little cup here with this isopropyl alcohol. And uh, just take a, a Q-tip here. I just want to clean up where I just removed this cap because I wanted to, to see if I could see something clearly here. Because these capacitors are right, uh, right next to the incoming power here. And um, I guess I could test some continuity here, but I'm curious of your opinion, fellows. Uh, and I, I can't really see without this microscope, so we're going to uh, look at this. That looks like... So this this is the power connector pin. That looks like it's gone. Or at least there's a big splotch there, either on top of it or in the middle of it. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is going to be a multi-part uh, event here, but uh, that doesn't look too happy. 
either that trace is completely gone or there's some dirt and debris on, on top of it. Again, this board is dark brown, so it's extremely, um, ex extremely uh, difficult to tell visually with this board. So here's the capacitor again. Okay. All right, well, um, for now I'm going to focus on just getting the capacitors off. Again, this is not a race to the finish or anything, uh, but it does sound like from uh, Bruce's recommendation there that I will need to scrape off the coating and see if the copper is intact underneath that. Uh, and I will likely need to order some scalpels or tools to do that su successfully. I'm in no rush to do this board, um, but I'm just seeing what I can do now. Oops, wrong button there. There we go, and there. Okay. All right, so uh, this blade, I believe we can hold the um, the non-pointy side and eject it. How do I actually? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, okay, that's the way to do it. How one would eject these blades from? Ah, okay. There's a little holder. Okay. So these are very very sharp. So I'll be very very careful, obviously. Um, where should I put this? I'm going to, well, if I broke this in two, then I would have two to work with. <laughs> but then I would have less of the blade to actually use. Um, problems, problems, problems. Would a PCI cover absorb the heat as well, Bruce, or no? Because I have plenty of those. <laughs> And what I'm talking about is like the PCI card slot covers that you, you see on the end of these cards. Uh, I, I know metal is different across different things. I'm just curious. But yeah, that would fit nicely there. That's actually not as bad as the one on the LC. Okay, well that's good news. Um, <laughs> I claimed I had so many of them, now I have to find where the heck I put them. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. As he frantically looks around the perimeter of his work area. I found an arcade token. <laughs> I have no idea what this is made out of. It's very cheap metal. I'm sure this will this will melt pretty quickly, so we're not going to use that. Um, let me grab this. Sorry, I'm in front of the camera. There we go. Uh, here we have a hard drive plate from a blue and white G3. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, nothing in this bin. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Uh, that's too flimsy there. Uh, let's see. Let me just go over here and grab something real quick. Um, actually, you know what? <laughs> These are metal. <laughs> um, this, this is actually go like that. <laughs> uh, I, I have ones that are very scratched up. I could use one of those. I won't use, use one I'm currently using here. Let's see. Okay. Lucky number three. <laughs> this is just temporary, just very quickly, of course. Uh, there's no rubber on here. I'm sure there might be some coating or whatever, but this is metal. It's going to get a little hot, but the whole idea is to protect this. So actually, let's move this one here. And this one fits a little better on that side. So 
That should at least protect the heat from these two areas real quick while I just hopefully quickly uh, get this capacitor off here. Uh, it would help if I... Yeah, that's that should be okay. What's funny is these caps just sort of fall over <laughs> when you desolder them because there's really nothing to convince them to stay up and they just kind of just fall over. Let's be very careful with that. Okay. All the blank slots I have are ventilated. Got a huge stash of them when I retired a Dell server lot. Ah, okay. Yeah, I have I have a few PCs that I've taken covers from. Uh, Mike from the Mac Yak Podcast gave me some PC uh, towers that are for parts strictly, and uh, I could probably strip from some from those as well. All right, so let's um, just get some flux around the legs of these little capacitors here. Um, the board looks surprisingly clean, but I also know that um, there are some areas that are probably not so clean looking. Um, yeah, so... We're gonna we're gonna keep on going. Let's just get these um, these capacitors off of here, and then we'll do a better inspection and see what there is. Uh, and it's about 7:06, so we still got some time here. I definitely want to put plastic around uh, some of these connectors here. I think that's all of them. I did I did remove some of the capacitors a while ago. But, uh, all right, let's continue that process here. So this is further removed from anything. So this should be okay here. That trace may be gone as well. Huh. Or the, the, the trace between the pad and the capacitor. That's what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm, very sure that these leaked then uh, since I'm seeing that pattern here but we shall see okay let's take this here and put that between our, our metal uh, plastic. <laughs> I don't know how to exactly, uh, yeah, that should work. Right, that came off pretty easily. Um, is that all of them? That is all of them. Okay. So uh, I did remove the rest of them previously. Then all right, let's take this blade off carefully. Move it over there. Okay. So let's let's see how bad this in. I'm gonna I'm gonna warm up the soldering iron in case. Um, there's an opportunity here to use the flux to get some of the, uh, the um, wick, rather, I mixed up my words here, uh, to get some of this stuff off. Okay, so let's um, remove some of the wick that we already used because it's all yucky. And it's all has solder on it, it's all used up. Uh, for my Patreon supporters, I will mail you this if you want. <laughs> uh, he's going insane already. And he's only 34 minutes in. Okay, so um, let's take a closer look at this stuff. Sorry, Bruce, that you come here just to be entertained and I put you to work. But uh, let's make this a little bigger, just for the sake of assistance here. 
So, um, let's take a look. Where was the problematic one I saw? Well, there's a lot of problems on this board. Um, but let's be specific here. Yeah, this... Okay, that's pretty focused. So let's go over here. Uh, that does not look pretty at all. Um, yeah, let, let's try and carefully oops, sorry, let's try and carefully uh, see if we could fix up that that area with some cleaning. So actually, we're going to keep this perched on top of the uh, processor. Thank you, Mike! <laughs> joining in to, to, to give his, you know, unbiased support and just really, you know, make me feel, oh, there's a bunch of, well, it looks like a lot of gunk on these pads, too. Yeah, this is a Quadra 840AV, uh, I believe the fastest 68K Macintosh, um, or at least one of them. So I, I think it needed all the help it could get. Let's let's clean up these areas here. Two spots are just adhesive. I think that pad will clean up well. However, I did see something that looked like a rotten trace. Ah, okay. Sorry about that. Um, let me move back into this area. And let's see if I see what you were seeing here. Um, that... Uh, where's my little tool here? And again, this is out of focus. And the board is dark. Yeah, this looks like... jeez. Yeah, right... Uh, not there. Wow, this is terrible. Right... Yeah, I think it's just the way the lighting is on that one. It's, it's difficult to tell. Um, let me clean this little pad up first. And see how horrible things are underneath. So let's see if that will just stay there for us nicely. Okay, and uh, let's see if we could clean that up a little bit. Okay, so I uh, need to order that uh, soldering iron tip you suggested, Bruce, because um, uh, having that little... Um, beveled surface seems awesome so let's uh try and do this oh duh 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 flux 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 what the heck am i thinking oh boy Yes, I caught that. <laughs> uh, you should get a spare G5 water cooling system from Grudy and put it on that. I have a water cooling system and it's utterly destroyed, so we won't be using, we won't be, we won't be subjecting this this Macintosh to that. Being very very gentle here. Again, the reflection of this brown color is making things quite difficult to visually show here. Okay, let's just get a Q-tip here and just wipe away some of that flux. Oh, that makes it look worse, but it's very difficult to tell. Well, actually, if I if I put my if I block the light up from above me, it's very difficult to tell that the, if that the residual solder doesn't appear to be melting. 
as you do the rubbing. I'm sorry, Bruce. Uh, the residual solder does not appear to be melting as you do that rubbing. Uh, huh. You mean uh, the residual solder on the pads does not seem to be coming onto the wick? I was being very... Maybe I was hovering the, the iron too far over the pads. More heat or more time. Okay. Uh, it is set to... Um, what has it got? What do we got here? It is set to um, 400 Celsius. Um, yeah, that's what this is set to. So I will um, try that again. Yeah, I was I was just very careful. Uh, I was probably too careful. I was actually just gliding it right over there. I didn't want to risk removing the pads or anything. Um, well, let's let's see if we could we could grab it uh, by. Let me clean the edge of this tip here. Again, this tip is not ideal. The the beveled one that Bruce showed, showed off in his video. Uh, would probably be better suited for this, of course, but let's see if I can. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> so, the I, mean, I only did one of them so far. Uh, I could see more of the stuff underneath, maybe? Um, it's difficult to tell. Again, the color of this board is not helping things. But it looks like at least the pad on the right has less solder than the one on the left. To a degree. <laughs> I believe this board wants nothing but trouble from me. So I'm going to be extremely patient. It seemed to have gotten some of it off there. Let me. I think that looks marginally better. Uh, it's difficult to tell because there is... Alright, if I put my head over so it blocks some of the light. Um, yeah. To be honest, I'm not quite sure. Um, actually, that, that goop by that trace looks a little better. Add some new solder to the pads first. Have you bought some good leaded solder yet? Um... Unfortunately, I have not, Bruce. Um, I have an Amazon shopping cart with some things that I've been waiting to pull the trigger on. Um, the only solder that I have currently is this lead-free silver solder. Um, now, I do have the lead solder that I was using previously. I do not have a lot of it, but I can certainly... Hold on, let me bring this little box up here. I could certainly use the remainder of that. Uh, at this point, let's see. 
Oh, it's not in this bin. Okay. What step may I have missed? <laughs> I did flux. I did add flux to it, but uh, maybe not enough. <laughs> there's a there's a pool of flux around this. If you can't notice, <laughs> please educate me. It's been a long day. <laughs> Yes, that's that's a very important step. Um, <laughs> I will be sure to have you review my Amazon car, car, uh, shopping cart uh, before moving forward. Um, I was I was successful with with these items uh, previously, so I guess I was just using what I had. But uh, if it is of utmost importance to make sure that the solder is lead, not lead free, uh, I will take that suggestion. I will go purchase. Uh, some leaded solder. Um, I'm just looking to see if that little bundle of solder is still existing on my desk somewhere. Uh, let's see. Might be hidden under here, maybe. Yes, here it is. So I believe this is the leaded solder I was using. It's much, well, you can't see it on the side of the, it's much thicker. Um, and this did not splatter like the other that one time. So let's let's hide this this microscope for one second. So I will try adding some of this solder to the uh, the pads just to maybe try and coax the rest of that solder off. Um, I will have to order. I'm gonna be shopping tonight while I'm Mac Yak. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Would not hurt to add a little more flux here, I suppose. And correct me if I'm wrong, Bruce, but the type of flux that you recommended was no clean flux, is that correct? Turn that microscope back on. So dysfunctional wombat wants wants to try and resurrect. Oh, thank you, Bruce. That would be very much appreciated and would uh, certainly be idiot proof on my end. <laughs> uh, so dysfunctional wombat wants to try and fix his iMac here. Pull the plug on trying to res resurrect my Revision A iMac. So even if you have to use a <laughs> one of the machines as your part machines, uh, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> okay, so let's let's try and just put a, a teensy bit of of solder on the end of. Uh, Too much there. Uh, just at the edge of, uh, just to see if we can. Oh, my iron is being a little. There we go. I think I had to clean the tip of this thing already. I have another one of these little copper bowls that has not been used for uh, a while. Uh, it's brand new, is what I'm trying to say. The one I have now is, is uh, whoop, that's too much solder, but we'll wick that off. Way too much solder, but we will remove that. Heck of a lot of flux, but okay. Let's try and remove some of this gunk here.
Sorry we're being so quiet. We're just trying to concentrate here. Yeah, I uh, would agree with you on that. The temperature is set to the exact same point that uh, it was on for my previous sessions here. Uh, I am going to clean the tip uh, on this sponge and on this coil here. I'm just trying everything I can. Um, I may have to retin the uh, the iron here, maybe. Because it uh, may not be happy with me today. And if it's not happy with me, some boards dissipate more heat than others. Okay. Yeah. Um, this uh, will probably be the last stream I'm using this little copper ball here because I think it is getting to its uh, the end of its life. Now, um, my soldering tip is pretty clean. Should I put any solder on this tip again before I try and use the wick? I know that's kind of maybe sounds counterproductive, but I just want to make sure I'm... I'm well, see, I'm not touching the iron, and it's, maybe that's oxidizing there. It's getting a little dirty. Um, that could be one of the issues we're experiencing here, is, <laughs> is maybe that's why. That could be an issue, if uh, our tip is getting dirty just by not touching it. That could definitely be a problem. Uh, the battery, uh, was removed from this board ages ago. I do not see any troubles by that battery, uh, but I will have a, a closer look. Oops, sorry, I muted you guys for a second without even noticing. Um, so, what I think I will end up doing um, is I'm going to take my own advice. Uh, okay, just see what happens with the wick first. Wick has or should have flux. In. Well, let me look at, I have a few wicks here. Let me, let me look at what I have here. This is no clean wick. That's what this says right on it. Um... And I have another one. Let's see what that says. This one is a super wick. Desoldering braid. Fine braid. Contains rosin. That's all it says. Contains rosin. Uh, again, this camera is, is the bane of my existence here. Not wanting to focus. So, I don't know if this is even, uh, if it's the same thing as, as this one here, to be honest. Uh, this specifically on it says no clean. And this is super wick. Desoldering bra braid contains rosin. So Bruce, you're suggesting we try the super wick? I'm all for trying it. Why not? My other concern, though, is that the tip of my soldering iron is browning itself. Um... Now, maybe it's just the poor solder I was tinning it with. That could be an issue. Maybe I need proper tinning stuff. Um, he says as he uses all of his words. But see, now it's nice and shiny after I clean it. 
again, this camera focusing. Oh boy. Alright, so let's let's put this down. Let's open our our super wick. Those will bow down before the super wick, which is slightly thicker than the other one. Or slightly wider, I should say. Okay. So let's see if this makes a difference here. Just regular stabbing into the copper ball thingy should be enough. That is certainly making it shiny. So, let's try it with our new super wick friend. Very carefully here. That worked, it seems. Well, let's uh, be careful here, Stephen. I'm using the side of the iron in the hopes to put more heat to the wick. I don't know if that's advised or not. Yes, I apologize. Let me turn that back on. You don't need to see me. You need to see the board. So that is what things look like currently, sir. That's a thick wick. Yep. That's a little better, isn't it? All right, so let's um, clean this little guy again. Let's try and get the remaining solder off of this thing. Oops, see now the wick has sort of attached itself. I'm heating up so it uh, releases its grip. I do not want to lift any pads on this, if that could be avoided. The wick is not letting go. I am letting the wick do whatever it pleases. So I do not want to damage this. I'm hoping by keeping my freaking hand steady and applying heat to this that it's going to gently decide to release itself. Come on. No, that wick has decided to stay put. Hmm. Uh, the iron may not be getting hot enough, okay. Um, I will increase the dial to 450? Let, let's do 425 for now. Okay, well, I appreciate the, uh, the suggestions. There's nothing worse than being said, you're doing it wrong, and then with zero suggestions. So, uh, again, I keep lifting up this iron here. It's just that the, the wick is uh, at a bit of an angle here, and I'm just trying to avoid touching anything else. All right, it looks like we're moving again. We are hot enough to move. Okay, we've successfully moved. Um... Just seeing if that's solder or not. It's very hard to tell with my poor eyesight here. Hello, Demir. Do not worry about that at all. It's happy to... It's happy. It's good to see you here, and I'm happy that you've joined. Uh, we'll only be on here for a few more minutes. I'm going to take a little break, and then we'll be on to the Mac Yak podcast. So, um, i be saving myself for that. Now, let's uh, try and zone in on this here. Oh, this microscope. There we go. All right, so it, <laughs> it honestly doesn't look much better than it did before, but um, maybe now that our iron is hotter, we'll be able to remove 
some of that solder. Let's let's try one pad at a time here. I think that looks better. Let's see. I think that looks a little better. What do you guys think? Oh, looks like, uh, did we scrape down to black there? Maybe we're too hot? Is that what we just did, Bruce? Or is that just, uh, reflection? No, that looks, that does not look good, I'd say. Well, I'm going to use my little multimeter here. I'm just going to connect, uh, check connectivity here. Out of curiosity. Again, this board will, will need a few sessions, I'm sure. And we're not in a rush to do anything. We want to be patient. So I'm going to go here. Come on, there we go, all right. All right, so that, that, that seems to be connected. So maybe that's just some gunk. It's not burned off or anything like this. That one's successful as well. Okay, don't worry, Dysfunctional Wombat. Uh, we might actually not be here when you get back. We might be on the Mac Yak podcast. So if you don't see me here, that's where I have gone. Okay. So I'm going to... Since we're not putting any new caps on anything right now, I'm going to clean this up with a Q-tip and kind of leave this alone for now. Um, and I'm just going to, that's okay, Bruce. I'm going to be signing off in a moment. Um, and I'm just going to put a, a, a pin in this and, uh, I will continue this at a later point in time, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe this weekend. Um, but I appreciate you guys taking a quick look with me, a relatively quick look in my, in my experience, uh, jeez, in my videos rather, um, to take a look at this little board. And uh, if you are very sad that I have to go and you're not going to be seeing more, more of me, well, I'm going to be on the Mac Yak podcast. That's uh, at the Mac Yak YouTube channel. That's M-A-C space Y-A-K. Uh, or you can check us out on Twitter, Mac Yak Podcast. Uh, that's our Twitter handle. And uh, or Mac dash or hyphen Mac dash yak dot com. It's our website. So uh, we will be on uh, the podcast in approximately 20 minutes. So 8 p.m. Eastern. And I hope to see you there. So thank you for joining me for this uh, recapping, yes, Jay put uh, the link in there, I believe. I'm going to blindly click on it, which my Mac does not want to do. Something went wrong, YouTube says. Well, that sounds like a pretty good cue. So I'm going to end this stream. I thank you for watching. Please join me on the Mac Yak podcast. I will be there in about 20 minutes, and we're going to have a good show. We have some cool guests there tonight. So see you soon. Thank you very much for watching.